I'm Professor Tim Birdsong here in Seoul, Korea. I teach at Hanyang University. I'm going to be introducing my brand logo for Korea. Branding nations and especially branding Korea is a hot topic. Every issue now of the Korea Times has an article by some professional or some important person who is into branding nations. I have this logo that I created. I use the shape of the Korea Peninsula signifying unification of Korea in creating the K for Korea. I have the Jeju-do Island. It's one of the great tourist attractions here, the south of Korea, and Dukdo Island. This really uh, helps to spread my logo because of the emotionalism, you know, about who owns Dukdo Island. Here, this says it right here. Korea does. Korea owns Dukdo Island. And I have surrounding Korea is the devotion to the welfare of humankind message. That is the founding principle of Korea. It was taught by the first Korean parents 5,000 years ago. The first king taught this principle, this philosophy, way of life. Taught his subjects to devote themselves to the welfare of humankind. Not to Korea, to humankind. That's what we want to emphasize now here in the 21st century. You know, it's not just about the nations, what the nation can give to the world. So I want this logo on everything made in Korea. It's one of my dreams, my ambitions. Not for myself, because I believe Korea, out of all the nations of the world, can be the first nation to give back more to the world than it's taking. All these experts are talking about branding nations and branding Korea. And to me, it's, it's I call it body type view of life, where the body just wants something. It's like they want to bring, this article is about uh, you know bringing, uh, it says an ambitious plan to draw 10 million foreign tourists annually to Korea. And they want them to spend $13 billion. But the whole heart and mind and spirit of this is like, what can Korea get? All these experts, they go around, you know, with this you know, expertise of branding nations. But it's all about what your nation can get. We're going to help you brand your nation so you can get something. <laughs> Tourism is about bringing the people of the world to your, to your nation interacting with the people and the people themselves are the attraction and they're giving something back to these world citizens not what they can take you know so they want to you know bring you know these 10 million people to korea spend 13 billion dollars that's what we want we want your dollars you can you know go back you know to your nation just leave your money here you know that's this kind of the spirit i get by all this nation branding you know, is what you can get. My concept is the mind type concept. It's the Hong Yi Gan concept, devotion to the welfare of humankind view of life. What can you give? Uh, this lady's talking about a 10 year plan, you know, to promote Korea attractiveness. Okay, in 10 years you can raise up a generation of children into adulthood. People who are giving, looking for every opportunity to give, to serve, to make the world better. This is magnetic, human bio-magnetic energy. That's the future. The brand image of Korea is a nation devoted to the welfare of humankind. This is where people look to see where good human beings are grown. And they want to bring themselves and their family and friends here to Korea, this little tiny peninsula, because this is where they can be nurtured 
in the spirit of giving. This is what it means to be a true Korean. This was taught, you know, by the first Korean parents. Devotion to the welfare of humankind. Can you imagine all the nations of the world following the example of Korea? And you want a nation that stands out. That's what they're talking about, you know. Standing out. Becoming a nation that's special. Well, you know, using this founding principle. You know, using that as the attractive element. And, you know, turn, with this devotion to the welfare of humankind, you can turn the uh, Chungge stream, which is the stream that uh, Lee Myung-bak, President Lee Myung-bak, when he was the mayor of Seoul, dug up this stream that was buried in concrete and cement, buried in materialism, a double-decker highway, he just dug it up, bulldozer Lee, Turned it into the Chungge Stream. Nice place to walk along. Chungge World Peace Stream. Right by it is the Seoul Plaza. Center of Seoul. City Hall. You know, hotels. They get the Seoul World Peace Plaza. The Nande Moon Gate. The number one national treasure of Korea. It was just burnt down by an arsonist. They're going to take a couple years to rebuild it, get the world to help, turn it in, into a, a uh, project to promote unification and peace, make it the Nande Moon World Peace Gate. I don't see any concept of giving in their branding of Korea. Now, I also have the message that I'm promoting. The Hong Kingang Peace Team World message. Team Korea. I don't want Team Korea as a team united getting something, taking from the world. It's what can Team Korea give to the world. And one thing they can give right now is a message of peace. Be the peacemakers. Well, that will attract people from, you know, for the next thousand years. This is the Korea, especially Seoul, is the center for world peace. I want to make Seoul the capital of the world. I mean... Where are these experts with vision? You know, turning Seoul into a model city, but a city devoted to the welfare of humankind, the citizens, not just, you know, the Koreans, but all people. You know, I have plans for, you know, Seoul to be the, the, the model, for Korea, and Korea to be the model for the world. Branding nations. More about this later. Bye for now.